Hello friends, I am Neha and once again I welcome you all to my YouTube channel about technology. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss an important concept that is memory allocation. Memory allocation is primarily a hardware operation that is conducted and managed by operating system. We are going to discuss this concept of memory management in detail in the video ahead. So without waiting, let's get started. If we talk of memory allocation, it is a method of assigning memory to a process. A process have elements such as variables, instructions that need to be stored in main memory in order to get the process executed. So, we can say that memory allocation is a method to assign physical or virtual memory to a process. Now, a physical memory is the RAM of your system and the virtual memory is an imaginary memory created in conjunction with the hardware of your system in order to extend the physical memory. Now if we classify memory allocation on the basis of behavior and method it can be of two kinds that is static memory allocation and dynamic memory allocation. Let's proceed with the static memory allocation first. Static memory allocation is conducted when you compile your program means at the time of compilation memory is allocated to elements of the program that is variables, instructions etc. Now for this kind of allocation the size required must be known beforehand that means a programmer must specify the size required for particular element in the program itself and if it is not specified compiler assigns a random memory size. Well with the random memory size there will occur two issues. First if the allocated memory size come out to be larger than required then automatically the memory will be wasted and second if the allocated size is smaller it will lead to inappropriate execution of the program. However, if all is well, then static memory allocation has an advantage that it causes fast and efficient execution of the program. But there is a problem with static memory allocation. Once the memory is allocated, you cannot increase or decrease the size of allocated memory. To overcome this, we have a new method of memory allocation that is dynamic memory allocation. In dynamic memory allocation, the process of memory allocation is conducted during execution of the program. The memory is allocated to program elements when they are used for the first time when program is running. This kind of allocation takes place in heap memory. An exact amount of memory is allocated to program elements. This makes the execution flexible and also improves the performance of your system. If we count the advantages of dynamic memory allocation then they are Dynamic memory allocation allocate the exact amount of memory required which reduces the memory wastage. Dynamic memory allocation make the execution flexible and thereby improve the performance of your system. But with these advantages there are two noticeable disadvantages that are as memory is allocated at runtime it increases the overhead of operating system which leads to slowing down of execution. Now there are some built in functions used for allocating and deallocating memory dynamically that are malloc, calloc, realloc and free. Among this four malloc, calloc and realloc are used for allocating memory and free is used for deallocating memory. Well there is one more thing important to discuss that is we use pointers for accessing the memory that are allocated dynamically. So this is all about memory allocation. For more details you can refer our official website binaryterms.com. I had provided URL for the same in the description below. Please like and share this video with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel about technology. Keep checking the channel for further updates and put your comment and queries in the section below. We'll be back again soon with a new video. Till then take a good care of yourself.